at the time standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast day of Mary, Mother of the Church, I'm going to be a bit theological and scriptural. Two theological reflections. I want you to listen because it's a beautiful theology that comes out of the Gospel of St. John. The first, the reference to Mary in the Gospel of John, just we find it in only two places. The first place, at the wedding at Cana. The wedding at Cana, you, we, normally we find Chapter 2, verses 1 to 11, where we find the reference to Mary. The, the, the second or the final reference in the Gospel of John is found in today's Gospel. John chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Mary at the foot of the cross. At the beginning of the earthly ministry of Jesus, chapter 2, where Mary was found. And John places Mary right at the end of the earthly ministry of Jesus, obviously at the foot of the cross. So what does John wants to learn or what John wants to teach us? The relationship between Mary and Jesus is not merely physical, not only a mother and son relationship, but also it is ministerial or we would call it a spiritual doing the will of God. Jesus did it and Mary also did it. If you want to be blessed, we are called to do the will of God. If you are a person, as husband, wife, children, doing the will of God, you can be connected to Jesus. A way to get ourselves connected to Jesus. The second reflection. At the wedding of Cana, Jesus turned water into wine. We know it. At the foot of the cross, do you know, Jesus turned wine into blood. Well, where's the reference? When Jesus was at the Last Supper, he took the wine and said, This is my blood. And this blood become a reality on the cross. Is it not? There are three symbolisms here. Water, wine, and blood. Water symbolizes an ordinary, ordinariness, you know, just an ordinary life. Wine symbolizes the blessedness and the blood symbolizes the nature of sacrifice. Now, these three symbolisms which was found in the life of Jesus also found in the life of Mary. Mary was a very ordinary woman, like water. She was chosen by God. She became blessed, like wine. 
and she when she shared a life with a son she united herself with the blood of jesus jesus and mary my dear brothers and sisters that we learn today jesus and mary sacrificed themselves not for them but for others today if you are a person a mother living for your children you are blessed because you live for your family if you're a husband saying that my entire life going taking care of this family you are blessed because you are doing the will of god and you are sacrificed yourself for others so two lessons today on this feast do the will of god and sacrifice yourself for others if you want to be blessed and stay blessed amen